now with your two minutes of mayhem. Yes, my favorite part of the entire day. One, two, three. Here we go. Can I be like 20? Yes. Oh. Okay, we kick things off with a strange and okay, maybe a little hilarious story. A woman who is simply enjoying a walk. Bear with me in Fairmont Park in Philadelphia. She was hit by a fish. That fell from the sky. What? She said it happened on Labor Day. She heard some rustling in the trees above. Suddenly, something came crashing down on her head. The woman said the impact caused her to fall to the ground. She estimates the fish was roughly 18 inches long, but if she's going to tell her friends, it's going to be like four feet, right? And five pounds. She had to receive a tetanus shot. It was even prescribed to antibiotics. The million dollar question can fish really fly? No. Mm, no. Maybe Apparently, somebody. Bird dropped its lunch, giving a whole new meeting to eating. On the go. Wow. Well, one woman is facing charges this morning for stealing fries. Yes, French fries. I'm just saying, if you're going to steal fries, maybe this person you don't want to do, a police officer. Yikes. According to reports, two women walked into a Washington, D.C. restaurant called Italian Kitchen on You. The two were believed to have been intoxicated and decided it would be a good idea to sit down next to an officer who just so happened to be enjoying his dinner. One of the women tried to start a conversation while the other reached over and grabbed a couple of fries. The cop asked her politely <laughs> to stop, but she did it again. Some good fries. He then asked her to stop, but she just kept reaching for those fries. Eventually, the cop arrested her, and she's now facing theft charges. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, last but not least, we leave you with a story that may have some of you asking, did that really happen? Well, yes, it sure did. We can all agree that getting stuck in an elevator can be a scary thing, but you should know that if you ever get stuck in an Amtrak affiliated elevator, they will have your back seven months later. <laughs> Political commentator Amanda Carpenter tweeted back in February that she was stuck in an elevator. Well, seven months later, Amtrak tweets, are you still in an elevator? <laughs> Thankfully, she was not. Turns out uh, the company had originally responded a few minutes after the original tweet was posted. The confusion came when someone recently retweeted that post, and then an Amtrak staffer saw it, responded to it again. The company did mention it was not their finest hour. As for Carpenter, she scored herself a free ride. And that concludes your two minutes of mayhem. Yeah. <laughs> Yourself. Somebody at the Pike Place Market has a great arm. Thank you, Mel. Okay, now I'm getting careful. dizzy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dizzy, dizzy. Yeah, just, hold on. Oh. Grab onto the two. No. You're making oh. me dizzy now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Thanks, Mel. Hey, don't go anywhere. Details on some amazing.